The National Treasurer of the Nigeria Labour Congress, Hakim Ambali, who is also a member of the Tripartite Committee on Minimum Wage, has revealed that a 37-member Tripartite Committee set up by the federal government will reconvene in mid-April to continue further negotiations and consultations on the new minimum wage expected to be announced by President Bola Tinubu on May 1, 2024. Ambali noted that the committee members are still collating and analyzing the reports received from the Zono public hearings. The committee had received the reports of Zono public hearings held across six geopolitical zones of the country between Wednesday, March 27, 2024, and Thursday, March 28, 2024. The minimum wage to be unveiled is expected to cushion the effects of the removal of subsidy on premium motor spirits. During the public hearings, different zones had suggested different amounts of minimum wage. The southwest zone had suggested 794,000 naira. The northeast proposed 560,000 naira as minimum wage. Northwest proposed 485,000 naira. North central proposed 709,000 naira. South south demanded 850,000 naira, while the southeast demanded. 540,000 naira. And the federal government on Monday announced that the new price of natural gas for power generation companies is now $2.42 per metric million British thermal units, higher than the previous rate of uh, 2.18. Dollars. Nigeria generates over 70% of its electricity from thermal power plants that are fired by gas. Therefore, the rise in the cost of the commodity may lead to a hike in the tariff payable by power consumers. Once the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission carries out another tariff review, the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, an agency of the federal government, unveiled the new domestic base price and wholesale prices of natural gas for 2024. In an announcement on Monday, the NMDPRA also packed the cost of commercial gas at $2.92, up from the previous cost of $2.05. The announcement was signed by the chief executive, NMDPRA, Farouk Ahmed. Recall that the multi-year tariff order released by NEC in January 2024 for the electricity distribution companies was calculated based on the previous price of natural gas. In the announcement on Monday, Ahmed said the Petroleum Industry Act 2021, assented to by the President on August 16, 2021, in August 2021, provided a clear regulatory framework for the determination of a market-based pricing regime for the domestic gas market. The NMDPRA boss further stated that the latest action was taken in line with Section 167, the third and fourth schedules of the PIA 2021, which mandated the regulator to determine the domestic base price and the marketable wholesale price of natural gas supplied to the strategic sectors. Meanwhile, a new power sector report has revealed that despite the persistent epileptic power supply nationwide, revenue generation by electricity distribution companies in Nigeria set to 1.1 trillion naira within the 12 months of 2023. The figure represents an increase of 234.4 billion naira, or 28.2 percent. Moving on now, a new power sector report, as we take our earlier report again, that despite the persistent epileptic power supply nationwide, revenue generated by electricity distribution companies in Nigeria soared to 1.1 trillion naira within the 12 months of 2023. The figure represents an increase of 234.4 billion naira or 28.2 percent from the 831 billion naira generated by the power firms over a similar period in 2022. The latest data was disclosed in the electricity report released by the National Bureau of Statistics on Monday. The latest data came despite the sporadic power grid collapses recorded during the year. According to the International Energy Agency, Nigeria's national power grid collapsed 46 times from 2017 to 2023. The agency also stated that Nigerians endured more nationwide blackouts in 2023, especially 
on September 14 when the grid collapsed due to a fire on a major transmission line. Meanwhile, the Minister of Power, Adebayo Adelabu, has promised Nigerians that the current power challenges occasioned by gas shortage and debt would be over in the next couple of months. The Nigerian Railway Corporation, NRC, made over 6 billion naira on train operations in 2023. This is even as it recorded a 32.08% decline in passenger traffic in the year, recording 2,182,388 passengers' traffic compared to the 3,212,948 recorded in the previous year. In the rail transportation data published by the NBS, National Bureau of Statistics, on its website, the railway recorded negative growth of minus 49.73% as only 672,198 passengers traveled by rail in Q4 relative to 1,337,108 reported in the corresponding quarter of 2022. The specifics contained in the NBS report show that the NRC generated 4,426,495,760 transporting 2,182,388 passengers in 2023, down from 4,546,342,056 for moving 3 million 212,948 passengers in 2022. It made 1.79 billion naira on cargo business last year compared to 441.7 million naira it made in 2022, with over revenue receipts stood at 565,843,550 last year compared to 607 million eight hundred thousand six hundred and sixty two in twenty twenty two given a quarterly breakdown of the ridership the nbs said in q1 2023 the nigeria Railway corporation transported four hundred and forty one thousand seven hundred and twenty five passengers compared to nine hundred and fifty three thousand and ninety nine passengers in the corresponding quarter of twenty twenty two Ridership in Q2 2023, however, improved marginally to 474,117 from 422,393 recorded in the corresponding quarter of the previous year. Similarly, ridership in Q3 2023 was 594,348, surpassing 500,348 recorded in Q3 2022. Recall that the federal government had announced a special intervention initiative that saw travelers ride on the trains across its three standard gauge lines and all other networks free.